John, you get your old belt back, but it's never easy against Maris Breedis, is it? How difficult was that performance? Uh, shout out to my family on the Central Coast in Campbelltown. I love you guys and I miss you guys. Maris Breedis, I'm honored to share the ring with a champion like that, man. I watched this guy coming through the cruiserweight rankings. I used to idolize this guy, you know what I mean? To be here and share the ring with him, he's a true warrior, and I got nothing but respect. Thank you, Maris. It looked like you were in complete control through the first eight rounds of this fight. Then around the 10th round, maybe a head clash, something happened to your nose there and seemed to affect the rest of the fight. Well, he headbutted my nose. It's a bit broken, but we'll get this fixed. We'll line the next fight up, and we'll be back soon. Was that headbutt what shook you up in that 10th round, or did he land something during those exchanges as well? Um, he got me with a good shot. You know, he got me with a few good shots. He's a tough dude, bro. You know, he keeps coming forward. He wanted it. You know, I could hear him. I could hear the pain in his fucking punches, you know? So I take my hat off to him. Thank you, Saudi Arabia, for having us. I love you guys. Thank you. You went 12 rounds with Bradis the last time. How did that help you prepare for what you were facing this time? Well, we knew we were in for a tough fight, you know? I, I said it from the whole lead up. We were ready for 12 rounds of war, and that's what we got. You know how tough this guy was. Did it surprise you at all that after eight rounds of you being in control, that he just seemed to be able to rally in the final half of that fight? Not at all. I, was, I knew he was going to come home strong, you know? After he hit by my nose, it sort of rocked me a bit, but... We stayed smart, we, we just kept boxing, and we won the fight, so that's all that matters. You broke his nose, it seemed like, early in that fight. What kind of shots were you looking for? Man, you know, I broke his nose, he broke mine, we just kept punching on, so, you know, shout out to him. You got that belt back, and certainly you're looking at the rest of the cruiserweight division. What do you want to do next? Uh, we want the WBO next. I want the winner of Akoli and uh, Billum Smith, and then after that, we're going to collect the rest of the belts. You know, a fight like this, how much do you take away? How much do you learn from going 24 rounds with Maris Breedis? A lot, you know, we're getting the rounds in the bank. There's 12 tough rounds under the belt, you know what I mean? We take a lot from this fight. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not that happy with my performance. I know I can do a lot better, but we go back to the drawing board, we work on a few things and we learn and we progress. We get better. Congratulations, Jay. Thank you very much.